Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuide.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So, yesterday I had a big amp delivered, um, an auto-tune amp. I'll show that um, at some point. It's from my own personal collection. Um, we over 700-something pounds. Uh, when I removed the uh, packing material and I had to get it inside, it was a lot of work. So I spent yesterday dealing with that and also doing some more hardbox kit stuff. So back to work on amps today. So here we have a AL572. Needs a lot of stuff done. Plate blocker failed. Look at the shaft. I've never seen that. I'm like snapped right in half here. These connections are shot. The straps where they connect to the parasitic board. So I will replace all four straps. Someone went in here and did some modifications. I'll put that back to stock. Someone changed the meter lamp bulbs. It's kind of crazy setup, so I'll pull that out, put the proper ones in, and they ran the positive lead over to the capacitor. I don't know what that's about. It should connect over here, so I'll get that all figured out and fix it. The SO239s have no grip. So I will replace both. Look at that, see? So I'll replace both with new ones from Max Gain Systems. Grids are not grounded in this one, so I will ground the grids. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL572. This thing was a pain. It needed a lot of stuff. So the guy that sent it in, really nice guy, bought it from Dayton Hamvention. I think uh, the guy he got it from said it worked, yada, yada, yada. So it's <laughs> just one thing after another. So I'll show you everything I did. So tested full output on all bands, got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, awesome company, awesome customer service, can't say enough good stuff about them. The SO239s came from MaxGain Systems. So it had different meter lamps in here, and he had a wire going right to the cap over here for the uh, voltage that feeds the, the lights and the keying circuit and everything. So... I changed the lamps with the proper LED ones and there's like nothing. Then I took a voltage reading of the wire and nothing. So make a long story short, I don't know what the guy did, but there was a blown open trace on the board, so I fixed that. Uh, two transistors were blown up on the board and this right here. So I swapped them, I, I ripped them off uh, another board I had here. So that's all set. <laughs> Got rid of that wire. I fixed the wiring here. It had it was all buggered up and stuff and uh, put the proper gauge wire in there. That's all good. Actually, it's the next uh, gauge up, so it's a little bit thicker. Fix the bias circuit. Put the proper diode in, the proper resistor. Change the transistor over here. Clean the TR slash bias relay with deoxid gold. The new SO239s I told you about before. New soft start resistor. Clean the soft start relay with deoxid gold. Brand new parasitic board, brand new plate blockers. One had blown, like one had shorted. Let me see right here. So, grounded the grids. Let's see, I'll flip it on its side in a second. The air variable capacitors are fine, they're perfect, so didn't have to mess with those. The shaft was actually split in half. Where the plate blocker failed, that or the tube got so hot. Anyway, so brand new shaft. Tighten up on hardware, solder joints, all that good stuff. New meter protection diode right there. So, uh, 
believe it had MOVs in here removed. So I'm going to flip it over on its side so you can see below the sockets. Be right back. Okay, let me grab something to point with. So I added a gas discharge tube, one on each side of the filament. All the filament filaments are in parallel. There are four tubes, so just need one per side. And uh, the grids directly grounded. What I do is I drill a larger hole and I use solid copper wire. I go through the foil board and I solder on both sides. So a nice short lone ductance connection to ground. Compress the socket clips and that's all set. So you always want to make sure the air variable capacitor screws are nice and tight, especially the plate one. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. It's 203-892-4119. The Harbach site's opening Monday. Check out that website, harbachelectronics.com. <clears throat> so, thanks for watching. 73. Okay, so I couldn't help it. I did so much work to this thing. Some people were like, where's the video? Where's the end? You know, we want to see it. So, put it back on 15 meters. I had sent the customer it working, a video of it working to his phone, but I'm going to show it working in the YouTube video also. So, it's all tuned up. Radio set to 44 watts, 1KW slug, PEP kit is on. Audio hello, I'm using a foot pedal. Audio hello, hello, show the frequency after. Hello, 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 tit, tit, tit. Hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. On reflect. Audio hello, hello, hello. See, flat SBR. Tit, 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 tit. The frequency. So it's all set. So again, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to bed. It's after 11 here. So thanks for watching. Amprepairguy.com 203 892 4119 73.